Hello everybody, welcome back to a new What I Wore in a Week. I've actually just had a week off where I did not allow myself to get dressed, so I am very excited to be back with you wearing actual clothes and wearing actual makeup today. So we're going to jump straight in to today's outfit. This isn't like a whole styled up outfit because I'm literally just pottering around the house, but I love this dress. If you haven't seen what I think will have been my last video, it was a few things that I picked up from Zara and H&M video, and this dress was one of the items, and it's just so lovely. It's like perfect length for being full length on me. If you're taller, it will be a really gorgeous midi dress. I'm a big fan of it. I really like the fact that it's super loose around, like there's a lot of material around the waist, and then it has the smocking across the chest as well, so it really like works with like body fluctuations, and it's such a timeless style it's an item that i feel like i will have in my wardrobe for years and years if you watched the video i'm sorry you just heard me repeat exactly what i said in my last video it's a nice like cloudy but muggy day which most people don't like but i love because it means that i can wear dresses like this and be nice and warm but i don't really have to worry about the sun kind of like beaming down on me and just being a bit too hot it's just like a nice kind of nearing i think it's nearing 20 degrees but not quite it's just like a nice warm day but without like heat if that makes sense so i've just got my chanel sliders on with them these are by far one of my best purchases ever these are waterproof so i can wear them like rain or shine they are so so great not the sexiest chanel shoe in the world but i actually love them because of that because they're just kind of minimal and really understated but they're chanel so it kind of like makes me feel better about the fact that they're just like a real jelly shoe if that makes sense so yeah that is the bulk of what I've got on. I've got my usual Apple Watch strap and then I've got my little Fendi earrings which I just love. I actually left them at Ryan's over the weekend so I've just been reunited with them. I'm very happy about that. On my lips today I actually have the Hourglass Blush Stick in the shade Loyal. I normally wear Wonder but yeah I wear blush sticks on my lips because they're actually like a matte blush so they work perfectly as like a real almost like velvety lipstick and I am beyond obsessed. The colour range is amazing like who knew blush shades actually worked perfectly as lip colours. I know lots of people use bright colours for it, but never really thought to use a blush as like a pinky nude. So yeah, absolutely loving this colour. Loyal is like a more browny, nudey pink. And then Wonder is like a really beautiful peachy nude pink. Gorgeous. But I'm actually going to show you yesterday's outfit because I didn't get the chance to show it to you and I really loved it. So here we go. Okay, so this is the outfit that I wore yesterday. I loved it so much. It was so warm and so muggy yesterday. This is a new dress and I was just over the moon that it was so warm enough that I could wear this, even though it was just like so cloudy, so gray. I got to wear this lovely little white summer dress. Honestly, made my day. We went out for a roast dinner. It was so, so lovely. Again, if you saw the Zara H&M video, you will have seen this dress and it is perfect for fellow vertically challenged girls like myself. If you're taller than like five, four, I think this will probably be a top. Very cute top at that, but definitely a top. However, I will link some alternatives that I think are much better if you are taller and they're the ones that I wanted to buy but avoided buying because I just knew they would be ridiculous and I did want this to be like quite a cute, really little summer dress. So as you can see on my leg length, it's absolutely fine, not too short, not too long. It just hits that perfect point on my leg, which is so very rare for me to find. And I've paired it with my new bag, which you may or may not have seen already. I'm not sure. But I love this. This is the new go-to for me this summer. I'm really enjoying all black outfits more than ever, I guess, because it's been a very like mild summer so i can really get away with wearing black in the summertime this year and this i just thought was so summery but also because of the black trim it just worked so well with black accessories that's kind of what i've gone for with this outfit so i've gone for my chanel sliders again these were perfect for yesterday because it was kind of like drizzling so really nice to not have to worry about my footwear and whether it's going to get wet whether it can get wet and then I also wore my Celine. What are these called? I actually haven't worn these in so long. I've forgotten what the name of this is. I think it begins with a T. These are just the biggest, most oversized black sunglasses. I've had them for years. I love them so much, so, so much. They are huge on me, but I just really like them. And I'm really enjoying them at the moment when I'm wearing like active wear. I just think they look, they're like the ultimate don't talk to me sunglasses. And yeah, I just love them. They're such a forever, item in my wardrobe. I think I bought these in America in like 2015 
maybe maybe 2016 but like i've had these a very 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 long time so yeah those are my sunglasses and it's a very basic outfit i feel like all summer outfits are you really don't have to wear as much clothing i did take a denim jacket with me just in case but i didn't end up needing it at all which was great so yeah that's my little sunday roast dinner outfit of the day don't forget to let me know once you've watched the video which outfit was your favorite in the comments i always love seeing which ones you guys love the best so yeah let me know but moving on to tomorrow Everybody, it is another very warm and muggy day in Susieville. honestly i think this is the weather for the rest of the summer just cloudy and mild and not really doing very much however this dress is doing the most. I love it. It's such a mood lifter. It's from H&M. You may have seen it in a previous video. Basically, this could turn into a video where I just wear everything from the previous video, but I hope you don't mind. This one I love because it looks very, very cute with my little kind of like slightly cropped denim jacket. It's meant to be cropped. It's not really cropped on me. It's more like full length, but you know, it's slightly oversized, a little bit baggy. The pink and the blue work really beautifully together. I will show you. I'll go and fetch it. Again, wearing the Chanel sliders because that's all I wear apparently at the moment. It is hair wash day. We're just dealing with these uh, little kind of like leftover curls. And then I've got a little necklace from And Other Stories, which I love. It's just a tiny, really delicate little heart. Amazon watch strap is the same. Since I bought this one, I haven't changed it at all. It just works really, really well with my skin tone. Rose gold is just an absolute winner for really blending very nicely. And I really enjoy that about it. Also works really nicely with whatever other jewelry I like to wear. So yeah, very comfy today, really easy, simple. It's keeping me very like well regulated in terms of temperature. So I am a giant pink tent and I rate it. I actually hate wearing jackets in the summer, but this is the denim jacket on with the dress. It doesn't offend me too much. I just hate wearing a jacket with a really cute dress, but this is just nice and easy. I would probably throw my Celine Sunny's on with this as well because I'm wearing a black slider. Nice and easy. Just one of those real kind of everyday outfits where you're just like, this works for me practically. Fortunately, I'm not going out, so I don't actually need to worry about it. But normally if I go out for barbecues in the evening, this is always what I have thrown over my shoulders towards the end of the night, just to give me a little bit more coverage. A nice cute little one for today. Tomorrow, I'm feeling like it could be a linen day. I'm very excited. Good morning, everybody. I just popped out to run a quick errand and I thought I would show you what I wore because it's very cute. Yes, it was from the not the previous video, maybe the previous video before that. I honestly, I can't keep track with the vids anymore. But yeah, it is another one from, you know, that video. And I promise I will wear something that isn't new tomorrow. But it was very, very warm this morning. Like once again, cloudy, muggy day, but it was warm enough for bare legs. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to wear this little set, which I actually decided to keep. I wasn't, look at my hair. I wasn't sold on this at first, but yeah, it just really grew on me. I think it will be really lovely on holidays with like a bikini just underneath as well. And there's a shirt kind of open. I've come to the decision that I like it better open. And I actually think that basically I feel like I either need to kind of wear it a bit one shouldered or I need to just be able to see some kind of skin here. I just think that makes it look a little bit less like pajamas actually it looks slightly better on me if i roll it up and tuck this under purely because just the length this is a really bad example but then the length just sits a little bit better on me on my frame because the shorts are quite long but i was driving and i just wanted to be comfy and i didn't want to have the shorts kind of like rolled up i just wanted to be as comfortable as possible so yeah this is the outfit the shirt and shorts are from zara and then this little racer top is a fairly old one from top shop i say i got it about two years ago now i have it in white gray and black and honestly they were such a great little purchase and really really affordable as well they've lasted really well this one though is very see-through so i'm wearing just a little strapless bra underneath which is giving me like real like my boobs are very visible because this bra has quite a lot of padding then i've got my fendi hoop earrings Ashley and me necklace. I've got a little gold clip in my hair. I don't think you can see it very well, but yeah, just a little gold clip holding it all in place. And then my trainers are Veja. And yeah, it's just nice and cute and casual and a nice little one to hop in the car in. I also wore my Ray-Ban seeing glasses, which I like tortoiseshell. And so I took my tortoiseshell cup, which is from, you guessed it, Starbucks. I got it in LA in 2019, I think. So I'm not sure anyone's getting their hands on it now. I'm so sorry, but... 
yeah love my little starbucks cups looking very coordinated today good morning everybody it has been a long time since i last filmed an outfit i have spent a lot of time in the house in my pajamas literally on the sofa doing absolutely nothing but i thought i would return to the what i wore in a week today i currently have tan on that has a guy color so just to be safe and just to avoid any mishaps i have gone for an all black outfit for working from home today i'm literally not going anywhere but i put on shoes and i've got a bag just to literally show you guys going the extra mile when i really don't need to so today's lip combo is the hourglass blush stick in loyal mixed with a little bit of charlotte tilbury kkw no kim kw lipstick on the center of my lip eyes are the anastasia beverly hills glam palette that i've been using a lot recently i will link it in the info box i I've just noticed that I have a little bit of mascara on my eyelid, but we'll, we'll work with it. I've just realised I'm wearing odd earrings. Wow. This is what happens when all of your earrings look the same. You end up putting the wrong one in. Anyway. Okay, my earrings are from Astrid and me. They're just really cute little, almost like geometric style huggies i really really like them they're just super simple but they're chunky enough to have a bit of an impact without taking away from the rest of the outfit i did have this astrid and miu locket on which i think is so cute it's almost like a shell effect so so sweet but i felt like it detracted from the outfit a little bit so i've just <laughs> tucked it away the t-shirt is from h&m i paired it with some old top shop these are like cigarette style trousers which i love and i've literally just added this asos belt in the middle just for some kind of accessorizing i have no belt loops on these trousers so it's doing absolutely nothing but yeah i kind of thought it was cute and went kind of nicely with the sandals of choice today which are my ysl i think these might be the tribute sandal sometimes i think about getting them in the black i love them that much but i get a lot of wear out of these in the summer because i don't really wear black shoes in summer if i lived in a warmer country i'd probably get them in the black for winter but Sadly not. And then for the rest of my jewellery, I've got these rings on, which are from Monica Vinida. I need to redo my nails today because things are looking a little bit ropey. I'm wearing the same old Apple watch strap. And then for my bag, if I were going out, I would probably take the new baby because I just think it works really nicely with a black outfit in the summer. Because of the black trim on the bag, I just think it works in kind of nicely. But yeah, I couldn't decide on this whole outfit. Do we like this? Let me know if you hate it or rate it in the comments because I really couldn't decide, but I just wanted something really comfy, but kind of like pulled together to work from home in today because I have spent too long in my pajamas. Guys, it's been too long. Good morning, everybody. This is my outfit for today. You may have seen this one in a slightly different variation on my Instagram recently. I posted this and a lot of you guys were really loving it. The top is from H&M. I feel like you guys have seen this in a haul recently. I really like it. It's got a little tie back and then it's just kind of got a square front to it. It's very difficult when you're on your own to get it like tight enough, but I really like it. It's linen. It just feels really lovely and comfortable. It's nice and thick as well which is quite surprising it's kind of rare at the moment when you get a thick white linen top they're normally very sheer and then i'm wearing it with my linen trousers from zara they need a little bit of steam but linen creases like a biatch and i'm just at home today so i'm not gonna bother but yeah i absolutely love these trousers they were one of the best purchases i think i've made for the summer they're so cute i love how high up they come and how much they really cinch you in they're just gorgeous and then i've just got my little tan birkenstocks because they're like the outdoor version of slippers and i'm just gonna be kind of like in and out doing bits in the garden doing bits inside not like actual gardening i would not wear this for actual gardening but i've got a few little bits that i need to just kind of like tend to out there so these are kind of like the great in between between my slippers and actual outdoor shoes and then for jewelry i have got my fendi hoop earrings for no reason other than i literally put them in super early this morning when i started filming and i've just left them in i just love them and then i've got my trusty little astrid and me little kind of pearl necklace i just really love the chain on this it's one of those ones where it's got like four kind of like hoops and they all interlock together i just think it's so pretty and it goes really nicely with this outfit i think it complements it really well but other than that no jewelry just keeping things really really simple today i almost didn't have a necklace on at all until i just kind of like went with this one even though i've worn it a million times but it just adds a really nice touch to this outfit especially i think but yeah that is that is it i actually need to plan some outfits tonight because i genuinely have no idea what i'm wearing tomorrow It'll be as much of a surprise for me as it is for Hello you. everybody. I am feeling a little disheveled today. I'm not going to lie. I had to get ready in a pinch this morning. But I thought I would come on here 
because we couldn't have a what I wore in a week without this dress now, can we? Or without a kind of like smock off shoulder dress of some kind. This one is my daily sleeper one, which I just love so much. And I've been in and out of the garden just recently after lunch. So I've got my trusty garden Birkenstocks on. This dress, little update on it. I still love it. It is so great. Literally the most comfortable, breathable dress that I own. I'm so happy with it. I couldn't save the one I had before, the Nasty Girl one, but I'm not mad because this one fits better. It fits like a dream around my waist and kind of chest. I just absolutely love it. It was so worth the money for me. I literally wear it at least once a week, if not more. It's a godsend for like days like today. I had the window cleaners coming and I kind of found out quite last minute. So I literally just had to like pull something on. I was also getting ready for a Zoom meeting. I was like, right, what looks cute on Zoom, but what is also a really cute like all-in-one kind of outfit it that goes with any makeup look any hair look this is it so i will link it in the info box if you guys are interested in checking it out i definitely want to upgrade my black one to a daily sleeper dress as well but that is it for wednesday's outfit what day are we on now are we on wednesday we're on wednesday so i'll be back with you tomorrow for another outfit oh and before i forget i have my trusty fendi earrings in again because what else? Oh, and my eyeshadow today is by Terry Ombre Black Star with a Laura Mercier shadow over the top. I will link them in the info box below if they're still available. And then my lip color is the same color that I've been wearing, I think, all week. And it is Hourglass Loyal Blush Stick. This is amazing. Such a good multitasking product. I use it on my cheeks and on my lips. And it's just the nicest color and it goes really nicely with literally any eye color whether it's warm or cooler toned i've got like the ones that i'm wearing today are like cool toned almost like mauvey shades compared to what i'd usually wear and it works so perfectly but i've been wearing it with like peachier nuder shades on my eyes over the past couple of weeks as well and it just works so beautifully cannot recommend these enough they're so great it's such a good one to have in your makeup bag for like double use if you want to carry around like less products or anything like that it's a really great one. Okay, good morning everybody. Taking a deep breath because we've just had to deal with a spider issue. That was too much for me. Too much for me today. This morning, I'm actually very happy with this outfit. I've actually been out in the garden. It's late morning now. I've been up and out in the garden. It is so warm. It's clouded over now, which is lovely. So I've come inside, done my makeup and actually put some clothes on. I have a bikini on underneath this. So this is like the perfect outfit for if you are kind of around the house and it's a really nice warm day and you want to kind of be in your bikini in the garden if the situation arises, you know, but it's also a really cute outfit for me in case someone knocks at the door. So I have this shirt on, which I believe is from H&M. Yes, it is from H&M. It's a white linen shirt, it's so lovely, and it's just come out the wash, so it's a tad crinkled, but I don't mind that at all. Linen kind of has that kind of crinkled texture, so I'm just rolling with it, and I've rolled the sleeves up and tucked it in anyway, so you can barely tell. Nice and low maintenance, we like that. I then also have these denim shorts, which I believe are from Zara. Sorry, there's a fly in here if anyone can hear the buzzing. I'm not opening the window again because I just had to get rid of one and that was how we had the spider dilemma. So I'm just leaving it. So we're just gonna have to deal with the buzzing. So that is what I've got on my top half. And then for my shoes, I've just got my little Birkenstocks in the shade Latte, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. They work really nicely with a neutral outfit. And then just got my Apple Watch on, my Fendi earrings because they have just been, the fly is just really upstaging me. These have just been my go-to this week. I think they worked really well with a lot of my outfits especially like a monochrome outfit. I just think the chunky little gold hoops, they like add a little bit of something without kind of taking over the whole outfit. Probably one of my best purchases of 2021. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. I can't wait for that video at the end of the year. I think I've got some really great things to talk about. But yeah, that is my overall outfit. And then the bikini I've got on underneath is a new one from ASOS. You will see this again in the next vlog. In the next vlog? Yeah, you'll see this again in the next video. I can't undo this. So it's just a little black triangle bikini and then the bottoms match as well. And if I just wanna wear the shorts with the bikini, that works. If I just wanna wear the shirt over the bikini, that also works. I now need both my hands back to do my shirt up. Be right back. Okay, and then I've just pulled it in quite tight at the front, but that's a tuck that I feel like is very personal to me. I know in the past when my chest area has been a lot bigger, I really didn't like to do a tight tuck. I liked a much looser tuck. But yeah, I like the tight tuck. I like the way the lines kind of cinch in here. And it adds a little bit of smartness to what is a very, very casual outfit. Got to go now because the fly is really upstaging me. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Oh, and my lip color is a KKW liner, which I will try and 
link for anyone that's in the US because I don't recommend <laughs> honestly the taxes are disgusting if you're in the UK hopefully they're coming here soon though but KKW liner then with the hourglass blush stick in loyal over the top but the hourglass blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks is shade wonder today this is not sponsored by the hourglass blush sticks I wish it was they are like they're the best they are the best and then pretty light makeup everywhere else but that is it see you tomorrow that's not it I've also been wearing my Ray-Bans and I thought I'd show you the overall look. I really like these round Ray-Bans with a really simple outfit. I think they are just beautiful together. It's a lovely combination. But yeah, anyway, that is actually it for me. Love you, bye. Hello everybody. It has been a long time since I last showed you an outfit. Friday, I was with my family, so I didn't get a chance to film my outfit. And then Saturday, yesterday, it was so hot. It's even hotter today. It's 25 degrees today, which don't even come for me for the fact that some of you live in hotter countries because I understand that it's not the hottest that anyone has ever experienced, but I'm still hot. Let me live. Anyway, yesterday it was 24. I spent the entire day in a bikini in the garden, just like completely unable to function. Today we decided to attempt to make something of the weekend. And we went for lunch. We had a pub roast lunch dinner thing whatever you want to call it and um literally this was the closest i was getting to an outfit i basically didn't want anything that touched my body because i literally was just stripping i tmi but it it was hot i'm gonna leave it there it was hot i am hot today so yeah i wanted something nice and loose i went for the white version of the i think i wore the pink h&m dress earlier this week i love the white version it's so lovely it's so cute very very summery and i just paired it with my yellow ysl bag for a nice change because i've been wearing the straw bag literally for the best part of the past two weeks basically and then i also went for my ysl sandals as well which i just love so much these have been an absolute gem in my wardrobe over the past like three years. Then I have my Ray-Bans on. The round Ray-Bans are just the absolute best for a real simple sunglass accessory moment. And then I have my Astrid and Miu earrings, I believe, and other stories, heart necklace, and then my normal rings from local eclectic literally wear nothing else at the moment. I need to get myself some more like cute dainty rings. And yeah, that is my outfit of the day making me look very very tanned but yeah anyway i am off to continue complaining about how hot it is i've actually just cracked open a tub of mint chocolate chip ice cream so i'm going to absolutely annihilate that i hope you have all enjoyed this video please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below hope you're all having a lovely day and i will see you guys again in my next video love you bye i can't do this bye 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 bye